Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to Let's Play Diddy Kong Racing DS, one of the best N64 games there was. And I guess they made a remake for the game for the DS a very long time ago. A game that I've never actually played. And I actually was at GameStop the other day and I, I saw the game and I'm like, you know what? Let me go ahead and buy it and play it for my channel. Just because I love Diddy Kong Racing and I've never played this one. So I thought it would be a perfect opportunity for me to finally pick this game up and play it. As you can see, uh, we have three files. Uh, I'm not Marty, Diddy Kong, or Gavin. These guys are all just... Uh, I guess this is the, the previous owner of the game. I should probably delete his file. Game settings, maybe? Um, actually, that's not how it is. Okay. What about manage this? Erase save data. There we go. Uh, and we're just going to do... We're going to do this. The first file. Yes, I don't care. He played it for 7 hours and 27 uh, minutes. Sorry, Marty. I doubt he's watching this video, but if for some reason you are... And you're the owner, the previous owner of this cartridge. Well, sucks that you lost it. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and start our adventure. Um, I'm actually very excited for this. I Ooh, okay, this is different. What? Tiny Kong is in this game? I don't remember her. And Dixie Kong is in this game? Oh, that is awesome. I think it's because they had to remove some of the characters. Um, I don't know why. I Actually, I really don't know. But I'm going to play with Tip Top. Uh, he used to be my favorite back in the good old days when I used to play Diddy Kong Racing. Oh man, what's going on here? Timber, quick, follow me! Wispig is right behind us. Uh-oh. Wispig, when I catch you, I will smash you into fish food. Fish food, that's the one thing you can think of. Diddy, we need your help! Come quickly! Oh, he's writing a letter. It's, uh, Timber, I think is his name. The little, uh, cheetah. What is this? Oh, it's Diddy Kong! He's in the, the Kong jungle! Wispig has taken control of our beautiful island. Please help us, Timber. Yeah, Wispig, you're such a pig, man. I will round up the other Kongs and be with you shortly. Oh, what? Diddy can actually write? Who, who would have guessed that Diddy was educated? That's nice, man. Oh, and a nice little birdie is going to send it back. That's, that's a very convenient way of sending mail. Imagine if that's... I mean, I don't know if that's how they did it back in the day, but... You see that all the time in, like, medieval movies and TV shows. Oh, it's these guys. Crunch! Oh, yeah, I forgot he's in this game. Oh, this is awesome, man. I actually don't know why I've never played this game. I owned it as a kid, but I never actually ever played it. I mean, I maybe have played, like, the multiplayer of it once or something, but I can't remember anything about this game, which is why I have really no impression about it. But the fact that it's very unpopular kind of worries me a little bit because I'm assuming that the game isn't that great. Um, obviously, as you could tell, the DS graphics are just phenomenal on this thing. You could just see every single pixel, you know, down to the pixel, which is, uh, crazy, but... We're not gonna worry about that. Oh, this is it! The island! The island is here, guys. This is it, guys. It's very nice. Oh, man, so much nostalgia, dude. The last time I played Diddy Kong Racing was when I had my very first touchscreen smartphone, and I downloaded a N64 ROM, and I just played it on my phone. And that was years ago. That was like in uh, 2009 or 2010. It was, it, actually, it was 2012, I believe. But this is Taja. Welcome to the island, my friends. Welcome to Diddy Kong Racing. That's different. I don't remember that uh, thing being in the little hut being in the middle. What's up, dude? I am here to help. Come with me. You have much to learn. Wait, what? Did they change this voice? I don't like this. I don't know if I want to play this game anymore. Let's, let me let me read it. Abracadabra! Welcome to my mystical home to access my wishes. Menu, uh, simply use your stylus and rub my magic lamp. Do I have to, man? I don't really, I don't, I don't want any wishes. I just want to go collect some balloons right now. But, uh, here he comes out. I want, I wonder what this is. Sully Pawns. Hey, you actually got my name right. Okay, that's good. Some, that you, he is a genie, I'm assuming. Oh, I get to pick an icon? What are these? I don't know what these things are. I know this is Diddy's head. I'll just pick this weird looking M. Why not? Okay, can I go now? Before I let you go exploring on your own, I think uh, you need to prove your driving skills to me. Come on, dude. I have my license. Oh, come on, dude. Don't say that. Abracadabra. Why would they get like the whitest dude to voice this guy? 
That's not cool, man. But, oh, whoa, okay. This is kind of weird. Oh, I squished a little froggy there. It kind of looks like Tip Tup. But yeah, this is not that bad, actually. Um, I don't know why, honestly, I didn't play this game. For those of you guys who've played this game, what do you think of it? Like, is it actually a good game? Does it live up to Diddy Kong Racing? Or is it just a cheap knockoff of a... Uh, or just a dumbed-down version of the game? I mean, I don't know how I would even begin to explain it, but... I thought I'd play this just because, you know, I'm playing through Super Mario 64 DS and it just kind of makes sense to play through some of my old favorite classical DS games or N64 games on the DS. Uh, I don't like how flimsy the control is on this. Like, he kind of wants to accelerate just by the lightest touch. Like, I just barely move the, the, the circle pad and he's just trying to swerve left and right. But we did it! We beat you, Taja the Genie! What did you do to the other one, man? I want the other Genie back. Tell him I miss him. Well done, you have beaten me. Here, take this balloon. It will help you access the racetrack in Dino Domain. And that is our very first balloon, which is pretty awesome. And then this is it. So you needed one balloon to get this. I should probably go about looking for the other balloons that are just kind of scattered around the island, but... I'm too eager to jump into Dino Domain. Yo, they changed this up a little bit. Look at this. I don't remember it being open like this to the sky. But this is awesome. So, um... First level is Ancient... Ancient something. Ancient ancient lake. That's what it was. I forgot. It's been a minute, guys. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is this is gonna be weird. So the the main story is on the bottom screen, but then the race is on the top screen. I gotta spin this. Oh dude, I can't do this with my finger. Okay, at least I got a good boost. Alright, let's see what kind of new items we have. Wait, what are these things on the the ground? What? The coins these are coins. Oh, sorry, little Dixie Kong. Okay, this is gonna be weird, man. Okay. Oh, there we go. Come here, Diddy. No, that was my balloon, you stupid thief! Okay, that's fine, because I'm gonna get this one. Pro or not, I could just skip over it. I don't remember anything from this, honestly. Like, this seems weird. Oh, also, I think if I let go uh, of the acceleration, I could probably um, get a nice boost. I'm gonna try to get this key. I'm gonna daredevil it. Ooh. How do I use my item? How do I use my... Uh, what? Dude, how did I- I didn't- I, I clicked buttons and my- I, apparently I used my item, but it didn't work for some reason. Maybe that was the extent of the boost. Okay, cool. I didn't even get that boost either. Wait, what? There's no way that is the boost. Dude, are you serious? That is the worst boost I've ever seen, man. Even that boost panel's a joke. Look at that. I'm gonna have to come back later for that key, I'm assuming. Because I can't beat Diddy if, uh, if I get the key. Dude, use the- Okay, there we go. See, why didn't it do that before? Maybe it's because I wasn't using it. Maybe it's because I was apparently letting go of the item. No! Don't hit the tree. I don't see Diddy on the map. That's kind of scary. Oh, okay, okay. There we go. We're good. We're good. And let go. One final little stretch. And we made it! We did it, guys. Sully Pones is first. Diddy Kong is second. And Bumper. I, I forgot about him. Pipsy. I used to like Pipsy. Uh, Tiny Kong and Dixie Kong are like the new ones. I, I think it's the replacement for Banjo and uh, uh, Conker, I believe. Wait, was Conker in the original? I kind of sound stupid now because I actually don't remember. Um, yeah. But he's here! This is for you! Does he say that? He doesn't say it, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it every single time I get a balloon. This is for you, my friend! Okay, moving on to the next one, Fossil Canyon. This one, I remember this one. This is actually a nice level. Everything about, you know, the original Diddy Kong Racing was actually fun. I'm going to use a stylus this time around, though. Okay, here we go. Spin. Oh, yeah. Come on, come on. Dude, come on. My, my, my 3DS doesn't want to, it doesn't want me to win. They don't want me to win. Like, um, like this guy doesn't want me to win. And I don't want him to win either. Okay, I kind of feel bad for skipping over that key. Oh, I just saw a uh, portrait of Diddy, like, on the wall. That's pretty cool. But actually, from what I could tell so far, this game might be easy. I just need to get the hang of it. Like, I need to understand how to control the, these guys pretty nicely. And once I do, then I'll definitely be good. Look at that. Another uh, portrait. That's pretty crazy. What, are, what does that mean? Does that mean uh, Diddy Kong lives here? Because last time I checked, he was a Kong, and he lived in the jungle, not a deserted canyon. This is probably more so where I should probably live, you know? Because, ugh! You know, me being Egyptian and all, I have, like, a, a connection with the desert, apparently. So I feel right at home. Even though this is more so of deserty canyons. Oh, gosh. Okay, whoa, everybody is so far behind. This is gonna be easy. This is, this is, there's no competition at all. 
I'm probably speaking too soon. I even remember back in the original Diddy Kong Racing that there were some levels that did give me a hard time. Um, and some boss battles, too, that did give me a hard time. Um, like the octopus for the second time, that was horrendous. Just because I don't like the, um, the hovercraft, whatever it's called. And then the dragon, I think the second- Oh, not the dragon! There was another one that was- It wasn't the dragon. The dragon is actually a pretty easy boss battle. It was the octopus, and then there was another one that I remember. The walrus! That's who it was. Oh man, I remember live streaming it actually. So I, I guess I was wrong. I did play Diddy Kong Racing uh, before in the past. Um, I actually live streamed it once on my YouTube channel. And I remember I quit after I got to the uh, walrus part. It wasn't that bad. Oh, I actually managed to hit Diddy. Even though my thing is still there on the floor, on the ground. Oh, I'm about to lap someone. Yo, this is awesome. What a good day for Tip Top, dude. You just lapped the, the eighth player, Crunch. Sorry, Crunch. You suck, dude. That's funny. Him and uh, Bumper were at the end. He kind of looks like a seal. I could totally see an alligator or a crocodile eating a seal. But we got ourselves another balloon, boys and girls. Alright, this is it. Come on. This is for you. Thanks, dude. I'm not being raised. I actually love Indians, man. I, I, love, I love doing the Indian voice, too. It's just... It's so fun to listen to. And um, I love doing it. Because I've, I've always been told, like, it sounds... Sound, it sounds accurate, you know? Plus, uh, I hang around s some Indians all the time, so... It's just kind of hard not to want to do their voice whenever you're around them. And none of my Indian friends think I'm racist. I'm just clarifying. So before you say I'm a racist, I'm not a racist, man. <clears throat> I just... It's, it's like doing a British accent, you know? There's just something about, you know, not being British or from, you know, Europe and doing their accent, you know? It's because it's not your accent, so you just kind of want to do it. They changed the music, by the way, for this level. I could totally tell. This doesn't sound like anything I remember. They they most likely uh, remixed it, I'm pretty sure. Uh-oh. Okay, well, that's cool. I didn't even get that. I wonder what happens if I stack two of these things, though. If I will get something awesome. I think it's like uh, a prolonged shield, but I could be wrong. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it is. And I think this is supposed to... Oh, I could get the third... Oh, nice! I remember. The third transformation. Look at that. It's a green one. It starts out, I believe, orange, and then it goes to, uh, like, red or something, and then it's green, because green's the best color. But, wow, look at that. Final lap, and I'm already so far ahead of these guys. This is going to be so easy, guys. Literally a joke. I feel like I should have gotten something, or I should get something from here, but I don't know. There should be something hidden. I mean, the, the, the game just seems way too easy to be done like this. I feel like I'm totally skipping over something important, but I could be wrong. We did it! A minute and 28 seconds. Meaning each lap was done in like less than 30 seconds, which is pretty awesome. Like about 28, 29 some seconds. And that is our fourth balloon. So the way this LP is probably going to work is I'm going to try to finish off like a domain or a complete area in one episode. So it's generally not going to be a long LP. Um, and then I think after you beat the or collect all the balloons you have to go back and then replay the levels again But you have to collect them with coins now I don't know if they changed that up in this game or not But I'm assuming it's pretty much going to be the same as it was in the original so uh, we cleared so far three courses um, This is the fifth one where we need five. I only have four so that means I need to go get another balloon some from somewhere well, this is uh, where should where could I go get another balloon from let's actually explore the outside world and see, I might actually play this game on my own time, though. Um, just so that- Oh, what do you want, dude? You're back again for this challenge. You must fly the plane of yours around the island. Good luck. You couldn't have said that any slower. Follow my trail of tokens. It will lead you around the course. Okay. Abracadabra! Okay, why are you changing me again? Oh, no, he didn't. He, he teleported me. Okay, man. I didn't know we did this so soon. Okay, how do I, uh, how do I get the boost for this thing? But yeah, oh, whoa, this is, this is not cool. Whoa, what, what is this? Oh my gosh. This is, this is weird. I don't like the way the plane moves. Ooh, okay. Oh, the, these levels are going to be difficult. Anything with a, with a plane, it's probably going to be not easy to do. But it's funny because the next level that we're going to do is actually going to be a, uh, a plane level. Oh, do I, does he really mean I have to follow them exactly? I probably do, right? Otherwise, I, I would be taking a huge shortcut, which... It's cheap. Whoa, I don't remember this. Whoa, dude, 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 get in there, get in there. There we go. 
Yeah, this is a whole different route. <clears throat> it's actually kind of exciting to see some of the changes that they've done for this game. Um, I'm not really too excited just because, I don't know, I love the original game so much that like, knowing that there's a game out there that is the original game but it's altered in a way that isn't the way I like it just doesn't really sit well with me, but <clears throat> I don't know, maybe I'll end up liking this game a lot, but so far it's not that bad. I mean, besides this uh, janky control that I'm getting with Tip Top uh, on the plane. But if you guys have any character suggestions that you would like to see me play as for the following episodes, just let me know. Otherwise, I'll most likely just pick, you know, the characters that I want to play with. Um, just to make it, you know, I guess, easy for myself. Um, because this isn't like Mario Kart where you can, like, pick a kart character combination or anything like that. You just pick your character and then that's it, you know? Everybody has their set stats, just one form of stats. I don't think it was like that in the original. Like, I mean, everybody was different in the original, but you didn't get to see their stats. Also, where is this guy? Where is this stupid genie? I don't see him at all anywhere. The one thing that's going to be annoying, I have to say, is going to be altering the screens from the bottom to the top constantly, just because... Uh, on the layout that you're looking at right now, the bottom screen should be smaller than the top screen as pretty much every single DS layout I have is- Oh, okay, that didn't actually hurt me. Why did I think fire was gonna hurt me in this game? I don't know why, but I, I just thought that. And this is it! The final lap! We did it! Nice and clean. Sorry, Genie. You may be filled with magic and wisdom, but you're no match for my fabulous plane. You have beaten me once again! Here, take this balloon! I will see you later. And it saves, just like, um, every other game that I hate that automatically saves when you collect a star. Or, or, collect something. Not a star, just something. Okay, get in there, Tip Top. Get in there, little man. I wonder if it'll change to a cart. I think it does. I think as soon as you enter any area, it changes to carts. Because it wouldn't make sense to fly around. Yep, it does. Okay, so now that we have five balloons, we can go ahead and make our way to Hot Top Canyon. Hot Top Volcano, that's what it was! Why did I say can't? I knew it. You know, I've this is the level that I never can get out of my head. It's the gunnuck tick tuk tuk mocha. It's like the weird uh oh. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. Listen, listen to that. What, what kind of music is that? This is probably what the genie dances to. Oh, they're actually not singing in this. Or unless unless I'm I'm cutting the I'm cutting it too soon. Okay. Okay, get in this thing, let go of it! There we go. Sorry, Diddy. Yeah, what are they saying, dude? I always wondered that as a kid, like, what are they saying? But this is actually not that bad. I think, um, I'm gonna be saying this about every single thing when I'm playing it. Like, uh, I, I, it's cause I'm not used to playing with these vehicles or just this game in general, so it just kinda feels foreign to me, but actually this feels pretty good now. Okay, let me, I'm gonna try to get a triple boost though, just because I wanna see what it's like. It's been a long time since I've seen one of these things. And I have a little bit of distance on these guys, so... Shouldn't be too what worrying. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Woohoo! Give me another balloon. There we go. Power up. Get one more. You know the worst thing is whenever you have a power up, like a triple one, and then you accidentally grab a balloon that isn't the balloon that you wanted, and then you just get a different power up, which defeats the whole you trying to get all these nice power-ups. Oh, that was crazy. Okay. Last lap, guys. There we go. And woohoo! That's it? I thought it was supposed to, like, pull you back. Like, whoosh! That's how it did it in the original game. It made it seem like you flew such a, a, a long distance. But I guess this time they're just like, you know what, man? We're not gonna fool you guys. Oh, come on, dude. There we go. Okay. Okay, ooh! Don't hit the wall. Don't hit the wall. You're gonna bust your plane. You're gonna break it. Oh, gosh. Get in there. Be a good fella and get in there. Get in this one, too. There we go. What a good turtle, man. What a good turtle. Slow and steady does not win the race. It's a fast race. Aw, oh, man. They all get nice little avatars, and I'm the one stuck with the stupid M. I'm pretty sure that was in, like, the, the, the data saves in the cartridge rather than the, the system. Just because it's a DS game, I think that's how they all used to work. But he's here again! Do you have something for me besides a balloon? Maybe a key? This is for you! Thanks, dude. Oh, and you know what's gonna happen? It's not a key, actually. It's, uh... It's this guy! I wonder if I can actually beat him. Can I do it? Oh, I can do it! Nice! Okay, I didn't do any nice grand opening to this. Hey, kid, you are doing really well! Now it's time to race me! 
As this is your first time, I will go easy on you. Okay, kid? Let's get going. All right, man. Here we go. We're going to race a rhinoceros. Because apparently they exist in this time and day. So Diddy can actually say, I met a dinosaur. He can brag to DK that he met. All right. So how do they expect you to do that honestly? Like, if you're right-handed, do they really expect you to do it with your left hand? Sorry, little Tyrannosaurus. Ooh. This is, that, we're, we're struggling here to see who wants to be first. Oh, no, no. I want to get this. I want to get this. Don't squish me, please. Don't squish me. Don't, don't be that kind of dude, man. You know, I get it. You're angry. You're mad. You're big. You're scary. You're intimidating. But don't squish me because you can't win. That's actually very cheap. I, hope, I, I actually hope there's a shortcut here because the shortcut was in this level. And this is the first time, mind you. So this is actually supposed to be much easier than the second time around when we race him. Okay. I don't know if he's going to deem me a cheater if I take the shortcut. But I'm going to try to, unless I passed it. I actually can't tell. Where is this stupid cave? Cave, where did you go? Okay, I'll just use that. There we go. Putting some distance there between me and him, which is awesome. Oh, gosh. Okay, just, just, st just stay. Stay focused. Stay focused. We, we're really far uh, ahead of him, which is awesome. That's how we should keep it. Okay, I guess they actually got rid of the thing. I did not see it. I was paying so much attention to the walls, and I didn't see it. But we beat him. And that is just the beginning. It's not the end. Well done, kid. Now try my new challenge. Collect all of my golden balloons from around the racetrack in Dino Domain. Then come back to see me. That's my impression of him. They used to actually talk in the original, but in this game, it's like, eh, we're not going to do that. But yeah, so the second time you do this, you can actually do it right away. But we're not going to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to beat every single thing. And then I'm going to come back and then do all of the golden balloons and the, the coins and whatnot. I think it's the same thing. Like, in order to get... Oh, come on, dude. Hello again. Are you doing well? It is time for another challenge. This time in the hovercraft. Follow my trial of tokens. Abracadabra. Okay, man. Oh, so Alakadabra. Abracadabra makes you change. And then Alakazoo makes you disappear. Okay, let's test out this thing. Let's see how this thing works. Okay. Oh, oh! I never really was a fan of this thing in the original. Oh, okay. Just chillax, dude. It's okay, man. You're not gonna die. You're just, you're fine, dude. Just, just, just uh. Oh, don't, don't go into. Wrong way. Hey, shut up. Wait, no! You said I failed. You stupid. You have to follow the tracks, dude. What did, what did, what did? I don't even know what to say about this guy. He's so cheap. That's all I gotta say. You're a freaking genie, man. You could have just cut me some slack. You couldn't just let me win this? You couldn't just let me get past this stupid trial and tribulation? No, he had to make it so I follow his exact rules and ways. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. In the next one, we're going to be doing uh, the little snow area over there. I have no idea what it's called, but you're going to be seeing a nice little walrus that we have to race against and all that good stuff. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Peace out.